1941, Nazi Germany invaded Soviet Union. That day, the USSR entered World War II. When I was growing up in the Soviet Union, my mom took me to places where the war occurred. So I learned what Hitler did to Soviet people. I also learned that World War II was the deadliest conflict in history. It took away 20 million of Soviet people's life. 60 million around the world were killed. The war could have been prevented if it wasn't for one person who raised to power in Germany in 1930s. My fellow Toastmasters, today I'm going to tell you about how Adolf Hitler came to power and what it meant for Germany and the rest of the world. Germany in the 1930s wasn't a good place to be. The worldwide depression impacted Germany very hard. There were a lot of unemployed people, just like after 2008 in the United States of America. Germany also suffered from defeating in World War I. So people wanted the change. They wanted a strong leader. And Hitler and his Nazi party was there at the right place at the right time. We were against democratic government and we were for extreme nationalism and anti-Semitism. When Hitler came to power in 1933, the first thing that he did, he eliminated all the parties in the government. So he only had one party. He had the full control of the government. Number two, what he did, he hired all the people who he knew, his friends, and people who were very close to him. He wanted to make sure that only people who supported him were in the government. The reason for this, to eliminate anyone who could say anything against. Number three, he promised Germany he's going to make Germany great again. <laughs> Germany is going to be glorious. And people believe that. Because we believe a confident leader. Next, he started to criticize the press and media. So if Saturday Night Life was there, it definitely will be gone. <laughs> and next, the racism. Hitler had this idea about the purity of the German race. He only wanted people who were like Germans. And he started to deport people who were not like Germans, Jews. So first, he started to prosecute people who spoke up against him. He did not like it. Lucky for him, he didn't have Twitter at that time, like we have today. And when you know what happened, racism and concentration camp. The concentrated camp first started before the war to send there everyone who disagreed with Hitler. From 1931, the most horrible crime in the history happened when Jewish people across the globe were sent to concentration camps to die. Can you imagine what it is? when you're separated from your family and deported and sent to die. So my fellow Toastmasters, this speech was about Germany. 
And we all knew, know what happened to Germany. Not only Hitler didn't make it great again, he destroyed it. And it took a long time for Germany to rebuild itself. As a granddaughter of the World War II veteran, and as a Muslim, I learned very early in the Soviet Union that we need to learn from history. Because if we don't, it's going to repeat itself. So my fellow Toastmasters, learn from what you heard today. Because a lot of you don't know what happened with the rest of the world. Try to think about why Hitler came to power. Number one, because the German leaders were overconfident in their ability to control him. They thought he's never going to come to power. He did. And the moment he did, he started to write executive orders which were against Constitution. The moment he started to deport anyone who was not with him, he took the full power and see what happened. As a Canadian citizen, it's my advice to America. Don't let one clown to damage the reputation of the United States of America as a democratic country. This is the first time in all the years I've been in the United States. I want to go back to Canada <laughs> because I feel like it's more democratic. To learn and act, don't be indifferent. Is it possible?